retro gaming collectors are very low profile. If I didn't open this shop for the past two weeks, I don't think there are so many collectors, big and small. Hi, I'm Philip Lee. I'm 58 years old. I'm running a retro game shop here. I'm selling all the retro gaming stuff from the 80s. Most of them are Game Boys, PC Engine, SNK Neo Geo System, Sega, and many others. Before I started this shop, I was uh, in video game business. That was way back in the 1990s, if I'm not wrong. And then uh, I got very serious into this gaming business. And this is where I now. All the retro stuff that I have uh, right now is actually most of them are from my own collection, collected through the years. I'm interested in retro, uh, retro game collections, but in terms of playing wise, I'm not a true gamer. I don't really, don't really play game that well. I started it's because I like the item. I find it's funny or cute or you know just intrigued me, so I just put one side. You see, most of them, most of what I have today, that's how I collect them. Because at that time, I don't know retro gaming. There's people who collect retro gaming stuff. Basically, my my for my own, I like to play with Game Boys. Like uh, the very first Game Boy Classic, the grey one that come with Tetris, you know. That's my favorite game till today. To me, this is the easiest game to play for young and old. And till today, I think some of the uh, older folks still looking around for this game to pass them. The first one that I ever bought was with my own pocket money. I think at that time, maybe $28, it's a Game & Watch manhole. Those Game & Watch we have in the shop now, of course, obviously, they are for sales, but a lot of customers are look, uh, asking for it because they, by looking at them, they think back about their younger days when they have it. The Game & Watch consoles or the sets are worth a lot of money now, some of them, from as, uh, as low as uh, $80, $90, to those uh, brand new sealed in box, a few thousand dollars. Retro gaming is something like uh, collecting antiques. At that time, the most expensive system during, during that time, I think, is the SNK Neo Geo. Some of the games, of course, those brand new ones, was cost up to about $800 sing. When I started to sell all this, it's something like a rich man uh, game machine. The one piece that is worth quite a lot in the retro gaming market in the, uh, price wise is the Metal Slug USA version my dream okay mm. my dream is to open a retro gaming museum but it seems like my dream I cannot fulfill it due to certain circumstances like uh, difficult in getting a place a premises to display all the stuff so having this thing lying all around you know, might as well sell it to those uh, real collectors who are willing to collect it. If casual gamers just for playing sick, they will say, ah, waste of money, why collect all these junks, you know? But for those who are into retro gaming, when they say they see something that is rare and they love to have it, they will mean, you know, they will envy or maybe jealous about it. Yeah. <laughs> My wife definitely, for one, will say that a waste of money, take out a lot of space, all our junks. Here the day she realized that some of the items are worth so much. Some of the retro gaming stuff that I have now, all are in good working condition. The technology at that time, what they use is different from now. Those games are burned into e prawn Until today, they are still working. They are less moving parts. I think it will last for many years to come. Seriously, new gaming sucks. Why a lot of people go back to retro party because like this type of game, Super Shinobi Shadow Dancer. Mm. It beats any of the PS4 game, hands down. Graphics fantastic, wonderful. Right? Real people inside, you know, they spend so much time and effort to create the beautiful things, but no gameplay, no replay value. Spend eighty dollars, six hours complete. During my uh, so-called my overseas trip, because I like to visit uh, gaming shops, you know, so I saw retro gaming in Japan. So. In Singapore, there's none. So I was thinking, why not start one in Singapore? I'm proud to be the first one, of course, but uh, there again, how it goes from here, I'm not so sure.